So hi everyone and welcome to this video on the vector autoregression in MATLAB. So uh, in this particular video, we'll go through how to import the data uh, into MATLAB, how to graph the time series that we'll be dealing with, as well as um, how to difference a series that is non-stationary. So uh, we'll start first okay, with importing. So if you want to do um, like comments or break it down into sections, you can do a double um, uh, percentage time to break things into sections. So let's start first with uh, plotting the series. Series. Right, so first, import the data. So uh, in the description box below, I'll have the data linked. Uh, in order to um, uh, be able to import the data, first, make sure that uh, the path, uh, all of the files and the folders in a particular folder that you'll be using is in the path. And uh, we go here to uh, home and uh, we select import data. And uh, the data that we'll be using is this one, 13 underscore csv. Okay, and uh, if uh, you do that, there should be a prompt that comes up and just click uh, import selection. Okay, and then exit. Then you should see Philippine S4 table should be here and uh, you can see the data points listed there. Okay, so we have uh, four columns, the date column, the output gap column, the RRP, which is the policy rate column, and the CPI, which is the inflation rate. Okay, so we imported the data. Okay, now let's uh, plot the series. So to do that, um, I want to plot the series, the three variables that we have uh, all at once in the same graph. So I do start with a figure. Okay, I specify a tiled layout, now, which has a dimension of three to one. Okay, then let me go to the next tile. Okay, that will create an axis for it. And let me plot the first data point. So from the data frame, which is entitled Philippine S var, okay, we'll plot the date on the x axis. Then uh, we'll plot um, the output cap first. Okay, then from there you do have that. Okay, I I'm just specifying that it should be color red. Okay. Then uh, the title should be uh, output cap, cap, okay. Then we go to the next, uh, we say we want the grid, grid on. Then next tile, okay. Uh, we want to plot now uh, the second variable, which is uh, uh, the uh, policy rate, okay, Philippine dot RRP. That's the name of the, uh, variable and let's say we want it in blue oops just b then uh title okay as a policy rate <clears throat> and then uh similar to before grid on next time then you know next uh there should be two t's next tile then we plot the last one which is the inflation rate Okay, date, Philippine, that's var dot um, CPI. And let's just call this a dash, a normal black line K. And then the title of this is a uh, inflation rate, a grid on, okay. And uh, if we run this uh, command, okay, so go back to uh, the, uh, the, Let's go back to here. Okay. Let's run this section. And uh, we should see this particular graph that we have here. Okay. So we have this uh, graph, which has, it's a tiled three by one. So it's a uh, three rows, one column. And you have here the policy rate, the, um, the uh, output gap, as well as the inflation rate. Right. So, of course, you can resize and then you can save and edit the graph as you wish. You can even zoom inside and then sort of drag it around as you see. Now, upon looking at it, I think it's easy to see that the output gap is likely stationary, but the policy rate and the inflation rate are not stationary. So we want to difference okay, the uh, policy rate and the inflation rate. 
Okay, so if we do that, okay, so let's create another differencing. Differencing. Okay, so uh, let's create uh, the variable. Again, output gap is uh, stationary, we think. So we'll just let it be itself. Output gap, okay. And then what we're going to do here is we want to define a variable that starts in the second time period and goes on. Now you might ask, uh, well, why do we need to do this to output gap? It's, it's just simply because we want to match it to the time span of the other two series. Because we're going to difference the other two series, we're going to lose a, an initial period. So we need to start from the second period onwards. Right? So that's why we're doing that. Then uh, DRRP, which is the policy rate, uh, to difference it, we use the diff command. And uh, we're just basically uh, going to do this one. So it's just going to be RRP there. Then uh, the inf. Uh, it's just a difference of Philippine S var dot CPI. Yes, correct. Then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put all these variables into one data frame. Okay, so we're going to do data equals to array to timetable. So this basically to timetable. Okay, this makes it uh, a data frame that's like a time series, okay? And uh, that contains these variables, OG, DRP, the inf, okay? Uh, let's specify this argument, row times, okay? Just, just to name the time variable as uh, uh, time. And then uh, this uh, will populate what day to, to the end. Again, because we difference, we lose the first initial period. Okay, then uh, uh, from there to at the end, then uh, let's specify variable names being uh, uh, OG, Oops. RRP, and then uh, what we have here would be uh, uh, inflation. In. Okay. And then uh, if we do this, uh, say we run this section. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I need to first save it. Okay, so let me save it as a sample bar file. And uh, if I run, okay, that runs the first section. Then I go here, then I run this one. Okay. Philippine S bar output gap. Okay, what's wrong with this one? Oh, okay. Feel there. Sorry, uh, it's a wrong spelling. Okay, let's see now. There. So we have now those variables, and we have our data time frame, which is the difference series. So these are already in the difference series. Then, uh, if we just want to, um. Uh, graph these again so we can graph these again okay so we're gonna follow a very similar command to this one okay so we're gonna have this one so instead of this one we'll have a uh, data dot time okay then uh, data dot og right because that's gonna be output gap then we have data dot time this one would be data dot rrp then this one would be uh, data.time. This one will now be uh, data.inf. Okay. And then uh, uh, let me just modify this a little bit. Uh, we don't need this. Okay. Let me just uh, modify it. So here we'll hold on here. And then. Uh, Okay, oh, we take out the titles. Okay, this is just modifying. You don't really need to do it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Then a grid on. Oops. And then we have your legend. Okay, we have output gap. 
that's the first variable we have. Then uh, policy rate. And then the third one is the inflation rate. Okay. Then fold off. Okay. Then uh, if we run this section, this is what we get. Notice that we now likely have three stationary series. Okay. So uh, that ends part one of our uh, uh, module on the vector autoregression inside of MATLAB. In the next video, we'll start to build the vector autoregression in MATLAB. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.